it's a little crazy to think that 2022 is already behind us. It's now 2023, a new year, a whole bunch of new, cool, hopefully exciting projects for all of us to undertake this year. I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorite projects over the past year and some exciting things I hope to be taking on in the next few months. So to kick it off, first, we'll start with the first project that I did this last year, and that was the hydroponic tower. This was a super cool project because it was one of the most functional 3D printed objects I'd ever created up until that point. It's one of those things where after you build it and you see its simplicity and its utility and everything else that goes along with it, you think, man, this is exactly what 3D printing is all about and why it was created in the first place. And so I thought that was really exciting. It was something fun for the whole family. I got the kids involved. We all started planting a whole bunch of different fruits and veggies in here just to see what would take off, what would do well. And we had a pretty amazing crop all throughout the growing season last year and even inside the house during the winter months. And we just pulled this in a couple days ago from outside. It's starting to snow because it's here in Colorado. And now we've got some bunnies that the kids picked up as Christmas presents. And by picked up, I mean tricked mom and dad into somehow allowing them to have them. If you didn't know, bunnies, it turns out, are a lot of work. And so one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna grow some lettuce, some veggies, some things that they can munch on right here in the house, which should be a pretty cool thing for the kids. That takes us to number two. So number two has to go to Iron Man. The Iron Man suit, which I finally built a stand for behind me, so it's not just laying on the desk in a whole bunch of pieces and parts, was something that really I didn't know would be possible with 3D printing alone. Right. And so being able to not only resize all these pieces into something that you can scale down and fit onto, in this case, my 11 year old son, but also make it functional, make it something he can wear that actually has servo motors and electronics. It pairs a whole bunch of really cool technologies together. Obviously 3D printing, painting, you've got to figure out like a, a harness so that you can actually put the thing on and then all the electronics that goes with it. So servo motors, our Arduino, battery packs, all the wiring and soldering. And so it's a lot of different kind of skills that go into a single project. So if that's something that excites you, all those kind of different components coming together in one cohesive package, then definitely I suggest taking a look at building your own because it's something I felt was really rewarding. And I'm looking forward to getting the new printer which I'll talk about in a future episode and uh, being able to print even larger items faster. So stay tuned for that. And then the third one has to be uh, the orchid pots. These I've talked about in other videos before. I've now got these up on the Prusa marketplace for free, just to give back to the community a little bit. But over the past couple of years, I've been designing various different orchid pots because orchids actually, most people don't know this, but they need light and oxygen to the roots in order to thrive and grow and rebloom. This one's getting ready to rebloom as we speak. And so I made these six inch orchid pots this year, a little bit taller water tray on the bottom so that they can you know, stay hydrated a little bit longer than my older prototypes. And then uh, also it's just, it's a little bit larger design because my orchids had outgrown most of the other pots that I had built over the past few years. So this was a really rewarding project for me personally. And I ended up potting a bunch of orchids for my mom over the holidays. And so it's something kind of fun for, again, the family to get involved in. And at the end of the day, that's the only thing that really matters with all this technology is when you can use it to bring people closer together or when you can spend some time with family members bonding over something that you both enjoy. I will also give an honorary mention to probably my least favorite project over the course of the holidays. And for that one, I have to jump over here and grab this, the Valve Knuckles. Oh boy. So these are amazing controllers. If you've never used Valve Knuckles for your VR headset, it's, it's otherworldly because you, you can actually, you just slide these on and then you have full control and motion tracking of your fingers. You can pick up objects. It's really immersive. And I thought it was one of the coolest things ever when I first started using these. Problem is fast forward a year or so 
and the batteries are going to die inside of these. And they made it almost impossible to replace. You actually, you have to pull the whole thing apart and uh, it's actually the batteries glued to the PCB. There's a connector on the PCB that it's glued to. And you can't actually buy the replacement parts even from Valve. You have to go to AliExpress and some guy found a similar battery pack with a similar connector. You can sort of DIY this to death, but I had to drill things out. And I actually ended up breaking off one of the power pins from the PCB while taking this apart. So now I've got a bricked controller, I'm not real happy about it. And so like valve, just be better. That sucks for the consumer, especially when you have something that you know, the battery is going to die in, like just make it easy to repair for the home user. Like that would be a better experience. So not happy about that, but everything else is pretty cool. So let me know down in the comments below what your favorite project over the past year is and what your least favorite project was. I'd love to hear about it. And we're going to do some really cool stuff over the next year. So hit like, and subscribe if you haven't and stay in touch. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.